Stefano Domenicali's suggestion on Max Verstappen's dominance. The Dutchman is enjoying a very dominant stint in Formula One and looks on course for a fourth consecutive world title. Formula One CEO Stefano Domenicali has suggested that Max Verstappen's dominance will soon come to an end. After his first title in 2021, remembered for that titanic battle with Lewis Hamilton, the Dutchman completely dominated the following two seasons, winning the championship by a wide margin in both. The three-time world champion is once again the big favourite for the 2024 title after winning four of the first six races. He is currently the world championship leader, 33 points ahead of second-place teammate Sergio Perez. However, Domenicali thinks the Dutchman's dominance is likely to end when rival teams catch up with Red Bull. I think it's right to say that we're not manufacturing a false result because someone is doing better than the others. That's not the point of the sport. And by the way, throughout the sport, Formula One has gone through cycles where we have had great racers winning for many years, one after the other. This is not a factor that is not attracting people. There is also the fact that if there are too many races, one, then you can't beat the legend. So we have to respect the fact that so far Max has been the best driver and soon maybe there will be someone to take that place, he added. Stefano Domenicali asks fans for a vote of confidence, with Verstappen winning 76% of the races held since 2022, fans have complained on numerous occasions about the lack of competition for Red Bull and that Formula One is becoming a predictable sport. However, Domenicali has urged fans to maintain interest, denying that the current product is boring. I would say these fans are very, very few. Tickets are sold out all over the world. The huge numbers are growing. So I think they are a very limited number, but they should stay focused on our sport because there are very, very important things happening. All the cars are very close. Things can always happen at every moment. That's why I would recommend them to stay with us, the Italian concluded. Verstappen questions the point system for debuting in Formula One. It can prevent some talents from arriving quickly. The Dutchman says he is not a big fan of the procedure and would prefer not to have it. The champion acknowledges that he is aware that this rule was introduced after his arrival in the competition Max Verstappen has been relatively critical of the points system that is followed to grant a Formula One super license to a driver. A process in which Andrea Kimi Antonelli seems to find himself. The Dutchman has admitted that he is aware that that rule was introduced because of me, but he also wanted to show the negative side. It can prevent some talents from reaching Formula One quickly because they first have to accumulate those 40 points, he explained. That process to become a Formula One driver is in the spotlight now, following the latest speculation about a possible arrival of Andrea Kimi Antonelli. The youngster, just 17 years old, cannot make his debut in the category as he is a minor, although the FIA confirmed that they had received a request to accelerate this process. The Italian could arrive early if the International Federation confirms it, and he would do so by all accounts with the support of Mercedes, although Toto Wolff has already lowered expectations by recalling that they still want him to gain experience in Formula 2, where he competes with Prima. It should be noted that last year, Colton Herta did not receive the exemption to obtain the super license. With this context, and especially because of Antonelli's case, Verstappen has analysed the current system they must go through to reach the competition. They must accumulate 40 points, be at least 18 years old, and have completed at least 80% of two full seasons in a single-seater series. A path that was imposed after his debut with 17 years and 166 days in 2015, when he jumped directly from the European Formula 3. And in the words of the Dutchman, perhaps it should not be done in that specific way, despite the support shown by the FIA to the measure. For him, it has advantages and disadvantages. 
That rule was introduced by me, of course, he has pointed out to Dutch media, Autosport reports. It's not specifically about him, but this may prevent some talents from getting to Formula One quickly because they have to accumulate those 40 points first, he has assumed. I'm not a big fan of it, of this whole system. The FIA thinks it's good, but I'd rather not have it, he noted. If someone is 17 or 18 years old and has maybe 20 points, but if he is very fast, why can't he then enter? Formula One? He has wondered to close Max Verstappen is still in doubt about his future, and Helmut Marko gives hint that puts Red Bull to tremble. Red Bull is preparing to bid farewell to the mastermind behind the design of its successful world champion single-seaters, the renowned Adrian Newey. In Formula One season 2024, big changes are on the horizon both on and off the track, with significant moves projected for the year 2025 at most of the teams. One of the teams under the spotlight is Red Bull, which is preparing to bid farewell to the mastermind behind the design of its successful world champion single-seaters, the renowned Adrian Newey. In addition, uncertainty surrounds the continuity of three-time Formula One champion Max Verstappen at the team. Helmut Marko, Red Bull's Milton Keynes-based advisor, shared his perspective on this scenario. Marco stated that Verstappen's tenure with the team will depend on Red Bull's ability to provide him with a competitive car that gives him the ability to fight for victories. As long as they can give him a car capable of winning, you can assume he's not, leaving the team. Max wants to drive where he has the best chance of winning, and that team is currently Red Bull. As for Adrian Newey, Marco praised his legacy and highlighted his status as a true legend in Formula One history. Although Nui's fate for the next few years is uncertain, it is rumored that he could join Ferrari with the aim of improving the car's performance in the face of new regulations in the category. Speculation about moves in the world of Formula One keeps fans and the global motorsport community on edge. Nui is a legend. He is the best designer in Formula One, and he was at his best when the rules were changed because he always knows how best to use new interpretations. With Nui, you have a figurehead. With him on board, it was much easier to get young engineers because it was an honor for them to work with him, Marco commented. Max Verstappen's future has been shrouded in uncertainty during the first few races of the 2024 season, following the controversy surrounding Red Bull due to an internal investigation into Christian Horner, team principal, in response to a complaint of alleged inappropriate behavior by a female employee. Although the complaint was dismissed, rumors continued to surface about internal conflicts within the team. In the wake of this controversy, coupled with the departure of Adrian Newey and potential engine-related complications for the 2026 year, speculation has arisen about Verstappen's possible departure. Juan Pablo Montoya, former Formula One driver, I really don't see Verstappen leaving. I think it would be stupid if he did. Max has everybody talking, oh, he's going to leave Red Bull. And you say, why would you leave Red Bull if they're winning everything? Unless you're not there for the right reason, you'll leave. But if you're there for the right reason, you won't touch it.